Morning, folks. Jay here at The View on Wednesday, is it? Wednesday, 23rd of November. Uh, days have blurred into each other. Um, there's, there's quite a bit of different kind of news flowing around. Some of it's World Cup related, uh, some of it's transfer related, some of it's just linked with leads as well. Uh, a couple of logistics stuff. My one a week, if you are... If you like the content of the channel if you like what we do and you want to help the channel grow then you can subscribe there's a button down the bottom corner or it's on the channel um, and if you want to help us get the video seen with more people you can like it uh, liking basically shares it with more people on their platform so it gets a bit more exposure so if you like the channel and you want to support us that's the best way to do it um, and we will have a quick look see who's in chat this morning we have remed pedro looks like a decent out number nine yeah he does we'll get to more details on pedro in a bit TK, oh, hello TK. Hey Jerry, good morning for me. Austin, Texas. Love the channel. Keeps great work. No problem. Austin, Texas. I have a friend in Austin, Texas. Uh Nipper, good afternoon. Tony, how are you doing, mate? There you are. How's things? And Ice Ice Bailey. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good evening, wherever you guys are in the world. And we'll start off. We'll talk about outgoings and news that's been floating around that a lot of people would have seen over the last couple of days. Sorry for seeing this comment. No, this is not Prime Minister's question. I'm the wrong nationality for that one. The start. <laughs> the start. Uh, we'll start off with Matthias Click, and uh, more and more reports are coming out about Click's relationship with Leeds. Uh, very disappointed and was described as being hurt after missing out on the Poland squad. Um, it doesn't necessarily seem that it's because of his lack of minutes at Leeds. It, it seems there was an agreement in place there. However, when it came to picking the squad, the manager had different options in different places and wanted to go with those options. And just basically, as he said, there wasn't any room for Click, so he moved past that. What's come out, though, in the last couple of days, according to Leeds Live and James Marshman, is that Leeds... Um, We'll look at losing the player probably in January. Click himself wants to leave, has made his in, his interest to leave Leeds known. 32-year-old is out of contract in June 2024, so Leeds have a decision to make in January to sell or let his contract run out. There are several European clubs said to be interested in Click. Um, they include clubs in France, Italy, and Germany. There have been some loan inquiries about Click coming in as well, but currently none of that has um, actually come to fruition just yet. We'll have to see what happens in the next couple of weeks for that one. Um, moving on then and talking about Marcelo Bielsa. I'm probably the last one we'll talk about Bielsa for a bit, but the last few details on what happened at Bournemouth have come out. So according to a couple of different places, Bielsa met with Bournemouth. The Bournemouth current board met with their potential new owners to discuss the move and bringing Bielsa into Bournemouth. Uh, and turns out everybody want him, wanted him. The word obsessed was being used by Bournemouth in terms of what he would bring to them. They wanted to have him there. Turns out their pockets, unfortunately, aren't that deep and that Bielsa ultimately was just a bit too expensive for them. Bielsa and his team and his large staff, as it was described, would cost about £6 million per year. Now, it leads in the championship. I know Bielsa and his team are on £3 million a year. I don't know if that increased. I'm assuming it did increase when we went to the Premier League. So um, that's pretty much why Bournemouth were interested in the Zerbi who went ultimately went to Brighton before this and Gary O'Neill looks like signing the contract. It's a big step down though. If you're going from somebody of Bielsa's caliber and you have money put aside for Bielsa, give it to Gary O'Neill. No, no disrespect to Gary Gary O'Neill, but to go from that, you know, massive experience to cultural football to you know Gary O'Neill, it's a big step back. So um, yeah, shame for them, not for us. It's great for us. I don't want to play against Bielsa. Uh, jump back in the chat real quick. Uh, Mickey D, how are you doing, May? Jordan Thomas, good afternoon. Hope it's going well. My day's going okay. Better every day. It's not the Prime Minister. It's no, it's not the Prime Minister questions. Uh, <laughs> afternoon, Jeremy. How are you, Julie? Um, Pat Dunn, good afternoon to Pat and Tony. Click, nice guy, but time to go. I think there's going to be a bit of this over the next couple of weeks. I mean, there's a lot of players. At the end of this video, I'll go through the contract situation that we've got at Leeds and who's looking at moving out and who's looking at staying. But I think we're definitely approaching a massive changing of the guard moment. And we said that a couple of times this week. But uh, on incomings and players that could come in, there's a couple of players been linked, mostly in the striking position and one the number 10. Uh, one of the strikers coming in, and this comes from Leeds Live, and Gary Mowbray has commented on this as well as Pedro, the Brazilian striker. Uh, Mowbray has picked him out as a player to watch in the World Cup and has said, although he hasn't got great pace, he doesn't know where the goal is. Pedro has been linked with Leeds several times during the summer window and has said that Leeds will keep an eye on the player during this World Cup. He is an out-and-out -out number nine and a player that Leeds will be very interested in bringing in, which a couple of you guys have already said in the chat as well. Um, be interesting to see if Leeds actually make any moves for him. Leeds are said to have money available. We'll have to see what happens with Rodgers and his court case and a few other bits and pieces, but if there is money put there, Leeds have got that 
Cody Cody Hackpo money in the back pocket that they never spent, and the 49ers are putting that in, then we'd expect something to come in from um Radrazani as well. Uh moving on to other strikers, a, a more solid link on this one, and Boule Dia has been linked again with Leeds. Leeds are said to be watching the player at the World Cup. The 26-year-old um Senegalese striker is currently on loan at uh, Salah Naterna at in, in Serie A from Via Real. He's six goals in 14 games for the Serie A side and has five goals and 25 appearances at his time at Via Real. He's also scored three goals for the Senegalese national side. Um, he is looking at a move. He's on loans, so the loan has to be cancelled before Leeds could buy in January. So that always makes it more complicated with, with a player coming in. And I don't always think it's going to happen when you start seeing things like this. Um, it's an interesting one. Uh, Liam, who do you think could go out on loan? I wouldn't be surprised to see Joffrey go out on loan if Leeds bring in a striker. I think he's fallen in the pecking order a little bit and his development has kind of stopped. I don't want him to go out on loan. I think he should be playing more games, but I think you'll see possibly some of the younger players go out on loan. Some of the under 23s as well. Perkins probably won't, but I think you might see the likes of McCarran go out on loan as well. So that'll be uh, good for them. Be good for them. Uh, good news for some ex Leeds players. And Paddy Kisnorbo is now the new manager of League 1 side in France. Toi. My French is great. Uh, <laughs> he's the first Australian to manage in one of the European's top five leagues. And um, he is part of that, I don't know what they call the city group, the, the club, the, 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 the group that own Man City, New York City, Melbourne, the all of them, Twa are, are also owned by them as well. So a move there for, for Paddy Kiznorbo. And, and fair play, he's a successful time at Melbourne as a player and as a manager. So um, deserves deserves a bit of success and we're always glad to see ex Leeds players go on to better things so bell done to Paddy Kisnorbo um, contract situation but one more player link with Leeds we'll just go to the contract situation pretty quickly James Marshman put this out the other day I thought it was really interesting to see where we are to stay to play with Leeds players either new contracts that have to be offered or players that are likely to leave Leeds January time for fees or contracts wind down and we know Luke Ayling and Liam Cooper are on that list as well. But we'll start with 2024. Stuart Dallas, Adam Forshaw, Jamie Shackleton, Matthias Click, Jack Harrison and Rodrigo. Contracts all expire in 2024. So these would need to look at offering new deals for these players, selling them in January or letting the contracts run down. Uh, then you've got a gap down until 2026. Mark Rocket, Darko JB, Sam Greenwood, Crescencio Somerville and Pat Bamford's contracts expire in 2026 you got a bit of room there for another year at least and then longer out from that 2027 you've got Tyler Adams Brendan Aronson Lewis Sinistera Willie Nonto and Joe Galhart um, who are there as well so it's going to be a big one you've got Dallas I wouldn't be, I'd be shocked if Dallas's contract isn't extended at least by a year to give him a chance to get over his injury Adam Forshaw we know looks like he's going to leave the club possibly in January Jamie Shackleton's time at Leeds looks like it's all but done based on the fact that he's he's gone to Millwall on loan with the last uh, season of his contract. You've also got Matthias Bogutz in this as well, and you've also got Ian Pavade in that list as well. So, two other players that are trying to fight to get game time to maybe try and get back into the lead team. Uh, Bogutz has obviously started the last few games for UDI Vita. Pavade is struggling to get into Blackpool side. So, it's going to be an interesting uh, winter window in terms of players either leaving permanently, and then it's going to be even more interesting somewhere to see whose contracts get extended or. Do we start to see this change in the guard happen pretty rapidly? It's a lot of players that would be going out. If Leeds lose Matthias Click, they will need to bring in a central midfielder to help to cover that position because they don't currently have enough depth if they let him go. Um, if we move on then to... Actually, before we go to that, a good question here. If we go through a few questions quick in chat, because let's go a little bit. Um, there we go. Oliver, any preferences who you would bring in if Click leaves? We'll get to that in a second, actually. And we're looking at a first team start. I think you have to. I think every player that comes in at this stage, if they're senior, if they're over the age of 26, needs to be coming in as a senior player. Somebody that can actually come in and have competition places right now rather than the younger players. We've got good young players. We know that we need to fill the gaps in the older ones. Uh, James, uh, where does Pedro play at the moment? He, where is Pedro at the moment? I have wrote that down somewhere. He's in, oh, he's in um, Flamengo, I think he is in Brazil. So he's still in Brazil. Uh, Clinton. We've been linked with Japan striker Kamachi. We've been linked with Kamachi a couple of times. Yeah, he doesn't want to leave Germany currently. He has said that himself. He wants to stay at Frankfurt. So, uh, Daichi Kamachi, who has been linked multiple times with Leeds, and would be a good player to get, really good player to get. He's got great stats, um, but he wants to stay at Frankfurt. Sean, uh, good God, take a penalty so perfectly himself. Could not say. <laughs> Spelling correct. It's okay. Uh, we've got a better day. I think the house deserves to know. Well, the right honourable gentleman could on sco comment on scum. Everything that's wrong with the capitalism. And uh, hey, I like to see things falling apart over there. And um, are there any oil rich countries left to buy Premier League clubs? Is there any one left? There's not. Great. And um, 
and poor Ronaldo. Oh, the poor man. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. I shouldn't laugh. Uh, I shouldn't. Scott, uh, thanks for doing this. Together. No problem. My time, Scott. I'm running over here today, so I'm going to try and wrap this up quickly. Um, no news on Wagner yet, Philip. Nothing has come true just yet on him. Um, his contract is up at the end of the MLS season. There is an option there for him to extend as well. So I think it'll be after the World Cup before you see anything happen with him. Um, no news. Probably good news on that one. James C. Click going. It is a shame. It is a shame. It is a shame. Uh, good morning, James. And Brandy Click's such a mentally strong character. A big loss. I think he will be a big loss. We have to replace him with somebody better. This is going to happen at some place. Uh, Jer, are we, we do, yeah. So uh, according to multiple, multiple places, no. Wouldn't touch him with a barge ball. Horrible attitude. Side before self, lads. Side before self. Uh, maybe Elon Musk could buy us. I hate that guy now. I used to love him. God, I used to love him now after his recent actions in the last couple of months. I've gone off him completely. But anyway, not important. Uh, are we scouting anybody over at the World Cup? We are. There are several lead scouts said to be at the World Cup. And one of the players that they've been having a look at is Sasha Lukic. And we mentioned Sasha Lukic yesterday. But more information has come out today from MOT Leeds and Calcio Mercato have also come out to say that Leeds are on the trial of the number trail of the number 10, excuse me. Um, Leeds want a deal to be done. They want to get it done soon. The player himself wants to leave Torino. He has said when the World Cup is up, he wants to go. And Leeds are looking for that number 10. I think it's the one position we're probably really, really missing. We've kind of put players in and out there. Harrison's played there. Aronson's played there. I think Aronson's better on the ring than he is in the centre. Um, Roma and Italy are very, very interested in the player as well. We'll have to keep watching it, but he is being watched at the World Cup by Leeds, as is Pedro. So there are several players that Leeds are keeping an eye on at the World Cup this year. So don't be surprised if you see some moves happening in the next couple of weeks um, for players like that. Uh, Declan's there. Who we got there? Nigel. Come on, Nigel. How are you? Who uh, we got here? I said, will the Qatar State need to support rinse the World Cup? Yeah, of course they will. Could be bad for PSD. Possibly. Possibly. Will we get Gakpo? According to some, some people this morning, Gakpo's fee is now up around the £80 million pound mark. He wants to go to Manchester United, and apparently Manchester United want him. So I'd say that one's dead in the water. I uh, would like Pedro class player. Yeah, the big thing about him is he's not fast, so the kind of football we play might suit him. That compact, high-pressing style where he doesn't have to be, you know, big, long runs in behind the Bamford does. This is more of a compact number nine, so uh, we we'll have to see there. Um, Dan James, loan status... Dan James, what's his loan stats? My team, the Union, Welsh, and Uh Dan James has a contract that leads until, I think, 2027. Um, so he won't be going anywhere for a while. At 2026, I think he has his contract. So still a bit of time on Dan James' contract. So he won't be going anywhere just yet. He is. Whether Fulham we'll make the move permanent or not, I don't know if there's an option. I don't think there's an option to make the move permanent. I suppose Jesse's... Uh, Jesse's status at Leeds would be the key because under Jesse's system, he doesn't fit the system. If Leeds would change manager and bring in a manager who plays orthodox wide wingers, then I think you could see Dan, Dan James come back into the fold there. So a lot would depend on that. Um, hit the like button, thumbs up. Thanks very much. Appreciate that. Uh, ah, not so much, but thank you, Sean. Appreciate it. Um, right, so that is it. A uh, quick last hello to somebody from Minnesota. Morning from Minnesota. Love to be. No problem, John. Anytime. That's pretty much it for day, today, folks. Slightly longer than normal. A lot of news. So, clicks contract status. BL says money essentially was the deal. Pedro, uh, uh, Dia, and Lukic that leads are keeping an eye on. Taste click looks like a good lead, and some contract status is winding down. Again, as always, thanks for watching. If you like the channel, if you're not subscribed, you can subscribe. That helps us grow. Or you can like the video to get it out to more people. That's my one a week. I won't ask anymore, I promise. Uh, and that's pretty much it, folks. Thank you very much, and I will see you all tomorrow morning for more Leeds news.